Castor Oil for Hair Growth Castor oil has long been used as a remedy for hair loss and thinning hair. It has many other uses as well, including moisturizing dry hair, taming frizz, and managing tangles. It can also make your hair grow stronger and thicker. There is much more to just slapping the castor oil on, however, how you prepare the oil will determine how easy it is to put on. Take time to prepare the oil before you put it on your hair, and apply it properly to get the best results. In this video, I will be showing you how to use castor oil for hair growth. Please watch this video until the end to know complete information. But before we get started, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you don't miss any upcoming videos like this. Castor oil contains many beneficial nutrients and hydrating oils. If your hair is already healthy, using castor oil probably won't increase its rate of growth. But if your hair is damaged, nutrient deficient, or dry, castor oil can help correct these imbalances and increase growth. When combined with scalp massage it also increases blood flow to the follicles, encouraging growth. Here is how to use castor oil for hair growth. Part 1. Preparing the oil. 1. Dilute the castor oil with another oil. Castor oil is fairly thick. Mixing it with another oil can make it a little easier to apply. Try using one part castor oil and one part of another oil, such as argan, avocado, coconut, jojoba, or sweet almond. All of these oils are great for hair. You can also try the following combination. 3 tablespoons, 44 milliliters, castor oil. 1 tablespoon, 15 milliliters, jojoba oil. 1 tablespoon, 15 milliliters, coconut oil. 2. Consider adding a few drops of essential oil to mask the smell. Castor oil can smell bad. If this bothers you, try adding in 2 to 3 drops of a fresh smelling essential oil, such as rosemary, peppermint, or tea tree. 3. Pour all of the oils into a small jar and shake the jar to mix everything together. Close the lid tightly, and shake the jar for a few minutes. When you are done, take the lid off. 4. Fill a bowl with very hot water. You can do a hot oil treatment with castor oil by warming it in hot water before use. Warming the oil will make it more effective and easier to work with. Make sure that the bowl you choose is large enough for the jar of castor oil to fit inside. Do not attempt to warm the oil in the microwave. 5. Put the jar into the water, and leave it there for 2 to 4 minutes. Make sure that the water level is at the same level as the oil. Also, make sure that the no water gets inside the jar, or the oil will get wet. 6. Once the oil is warm, pour it into a small bowl. This will make it easier for you to dip your fingers into when you go to apply it. Consider pouring the oil into a small bottle with an eyedropper. This way, you can use the eyedropper to just drip the oil to your scalp. If you don't have an eyedropper, you can use a bottle with a nozzle. You can get empty applicator bottles from most beauty supply stores. Part 2. Using the castor oil. 1. Dampen your hair if you wish. Although you can apply castor oil to dry hair, dampening your hair may help the oil absorb better. A quick way to dampen your hair is to fill a spray bottle with water, and spray just your scalp. Your hair should just be a little damp, not dripping wet. 2. Cover your shoulders with a towel. This will protect your clothes from getting covered in oil. It may also be a good idea to wear something you do not care about anymore, in case the oil drips past the towel. This way you can avoid getting oil stains on your good clothes. 3. Dip your fingers into the oil, and massage your scalp for 3 to 5 minutes. Do not use too much oil, a little bit goes a long way. Use your fingers to spread the oil between your hair roots and across your scalp. Massage your head with your fingertips using small, circular motions. You can also use an eyedropper to drip the oil onto various points on your scalp. This may be easier for you, and less messy. Be sure to massage the oil into your scalp for about 5 minutes. 4. Apply the oil to the rest of your hair. Scoop a little bit more oil onto your fingers, and rub it between your palms. Then, run your hands across your hair. Use your fingers to comb your hair, this helps distribute the oil. Again, start with a small amount. You do not need a lot of oil. 5. Cover your hair with a shower cap. Loosely pile your hair on top of your head. 
If you need to, you can keep it in place with a claw clip. Slip a shower cap over your hair. The shower cap will trap the heat inside, and it will keep your hair from drying out. 6. Wrap a hot towel around your head in the shower cap. Warm up a towel by soaking it with very hot water. Twist the towel to get any excess water out, then wrap it around your head. You can tuck the end of the towel in under your turban, or you can secure it with a large hair clip. The heat from the towel will make the oil more effective. 7. Wait 30 minutes to 3 hours before washing the oil out. When you go to wash your hair, know that it may take a while before you get all the oil out. Some people find that washing with just conditioner, and skipping the shampoo, is more effective than using shampoo. If your hair doesn't feel overly oily or heavy after the treatment, you may choose to leave the oil in instead of washing it out. 8. Use this treatment once to twice a week for best results. Keep in mind, however, that you may not see any results the next day. Try using the castor oil treatment for 4 weeks before moving on to something else. You will probably start seeing results after about a month of use. So, if you find this video helpful, we suggest that you share it with your family and friends. Thank you very much for watching this video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell notification to be one of the first people to know when we put out a new video. Thank you once again.